Welcome to a very exciting game I just played with the semi professional player. This this game started with the pawn and can uh, opening. So basically the opponent's post, uh, pushing the pawn to to g5 and then and then you know uh, blacks just developing the cannon immediately to attack the pawn. Here the the right move to the correct move to play is just bishop to, to e3. Huh? Doesn't matter which bishop you move, you have to protect the pawn and um, otherwise it's just a free pawn. So you know, my opponent didn't play that. I don't know why he, he sacrificed the pawn. I just took it. You know, he, here you you don't you don't want to. Some people would just go uh, so, play something like uh, like G uh, like G6 or something to attack, attack the pawn with the pawn. Uh, well, you don't really gain anything. Sure, you know, uh, red cannot take right now. You know, if, if red takes, you just take the bishop and and then this comes with the check and, and then you pick up pick up the rook. A discover check so you know but the problem is why doesn't have to, uh, red doesn't have to take red can just develop his, his bishop and basically if you take the pawn he takes with the bishop right you don't really gain anything uh, so um you know i don't want to burn a pawn i just took the pawn and then he did develop his knight and then I put the knight in the in the middle, uh, cannon to e7, and then you know we push the pawn. Basically, we're just developing pieces. And here, um, here I'm actually threatening, uh, the, hindering the development of the rook. So he, his rook, he can't, he cannot do any uh, rook lift. You know, if you know, reasonably he can't develop, uh, he can't. Uh, really lift the rook because he if he lift the rook you know he's just gonna lose the bishop you know i just i'm just gonna take the take the bishop with it with the check unfortunately he took the rook so uh, first of all uh, i i first offer a rook trade because i think that this rook could be very dangerous this rook is hindering the development development of my knight so i offer a rook, rook trade he puts the cannon here and and um already you can see this is a very amateur move you you know once the one opponent plays plays that to, uh, with you 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 can immediately spot that he's pretty much an amateur player because right now you can see you know he, he uh, sure he developed two two pieces a rook and cannon How, however those pieces are not doing anything and his rook is pinned the cannon cannot move you know um basically the cannon is not not say, seeing anything the rook is not doing anything here uh you don't really threaten any checkmate so i just took the, the bishop with the check he has to move the uh move the general uh, the only move, so I develop my cannon to attack the knight, he moves the knight, and I, I put the cannon on the side, uh, basically attacking the, that pawn, uh, he moved the rook, you know, I, I put the rook on, uh, on here, uh, I, I, I basically, I, I'm just, uh, going to, going cannon to, cannon to A1, check, and um, this is not a threatening checkmate. You can see that uh, if you calculate this pre precisely, this just uh, um, this basically just um, forces the trade because you know uh, if you calculate this correctly, you can see the only move for red is to to block with the rook, and then you you're gonna take the red rook. Uh, you know, red is gonna take one of your your cannon. Um, and then you, you're basically just trading cannon, but this also, uh, you know, solves all, all, all your problem, all the, uh, uh, you know, right now all the black pieces are, are nice defended, uh, red doesn't really have any attacks, so right now you can start your own attack, and now, uh, you know, he's still, basically still threatening the same idea, basically, uh, threatening, uh, something like, uh, um, now something like uh, rook, rook to uh, let's see um, something like rook to rook to g3 or something rook to rook to h3 could be very dangerous uh, attacking the knight but uh, I I'm first see uh, for, for you know I first took the pawn and here I'm threatening to take the bishop uh, and basically threatening to checkmate. Uh, of course, he uh, spotted that trick. He um, um, moves the bishop, so this, there's no checkmating threats. And um, I played, I played knight to 
knight to g3. So developing the knight, he first attacked the cannon, then attacked the knight. But basically, this is uh, you don't you don't really have to worry about this. You can even sacrifice the knight. So here, I first moved the, move my cannon. So the idea being that if he takes the cannon, I take with the rook, then his knight is under attack. And his knight doesn't really have any any uh, good square to go. Um, if the knight hops the front, um, then you know, then then I also I can also move my knight to to, to attack. So, uh, but right now you do lose one of the knight, but uh, you also gain a lot of movement. We can even show this um, if. Cannon takes, rook takes, then basically uh, I'm attacking his his knight. Uh, the knight is under attack. Um, the only square you can go is basically here. Uh, but if you go here, then you know I can even afford to sacrifice the the uh, the knight. Um, if you go here, then I have I even have this move. I can go here, right? Uh, but you know the good thing is he can basically he can force a knight trade. Um, so if take takes, these knights are defended. You know these are uh, if take takes then then even you only gain the pawn. These knights are defending each each other. Uh, you cannot take. So basically, um, it's uh, red's move. Uh, red has to defend the knight, uh, or otherwise he can take, right? Red can take, but if red takes, then then you do lose a knight, but you also um, you also you also have some 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 kind of threats if if red takes. Then, um, well, you first have to, to to defend your knight, but this doesn't matter. He's he's gonna take anyway. Uh, otherwise, you just escape with your knight. Um, but uh, red can simply just go here, you know, something like that, and you don't have anything. For example, you attack the bishop. They can simply, you know, move the bishop back. And if you attack the bishop again, they don't even have to care. And they hop in with the knight, uh, and then you know even let you take that bishop, and then you can even take the rook here, and then you can't really move the knight. Otherwise, uh, this is this is just. Uh, um, I mean, you have to move the queen. Otherwise. Um, you know this this attack could be very dangerous. So if if this game actually went like that, you know, uh, like the variation we showed, uh, black could be a lot better. Um, so see, see, cannon takes, rook takes, um, and then your knight is under attack. You don't if you don't want to trade. If you want to trade, that that's fine. If you want to take one of the knight. Uh, you know, trade, trade. Then black still wins the knight, and um, you know this variation could be uh, no red still wins the knight. This variation could be, but then you you take the bishop, right? So he he takes the pawn, and then you, you you're gonna attack the rook with the bishop. The rooks are gonna gonna move. This is another line that we're gonna show. You're gonna take another pawn and. Uh, you know, um, this game could be, um, if the game went, went like this, then red could be worse. If, uh, the game, like, went like the variation we just showed, uh, you know, the first variation we showed, then of course, uh, you know, red's gonna be a lot better. So, but unfortunately, in the real game, he didn't, he didn't go for this. He, uh, He went for this, and this doesn't really do anything, you know. This, you basically, you just, you want a queen, 
but that doesn't do anything. He he thought there's some checkmate threats, but you know it doesn't it doesn't really nothing really justifies his cannon sacrifice. You know, uh, so I attack attack the knight. He sacrificed another knight. He just wants to go for the checkmate. I don't know why. There's no mate here. You, your rook, you know, you, you you can't even develop your rook to anywhere. You can't even develop the rook to the second lane. Uh, you know, to the to the B file, um, because you know the knight's guarding that square. Um, so you know you can't really do anything. He develops a rook to the to the second lane, uh, but. It doesn't do anything. I just hopped my knight back. I'm up a piece. Now he's attacking the middle pawn. Um, of course, you have to defend this because if if rook takes the middle pawn with the check, then, then that could be very dangerous. For example, if you you play some kind of stupid move. Um, uh, for example, if you you play something like this, then they they could they could even take, and then you know. Uh, you you can't you can't defend with the bishop. Well, you you can. Uh, you defend with the bishop, and then they basically they they're just gonna put another rook here, you know, and um, um, it 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 could be very dangerous, uh, or even better they could do something like this attack your knight and, and basically uh not allowing your bishop to not allowing your knight to move and um yeah could be could be could be very very dangerous uh, uh you know if it the opponent plays something like this then you're basically done um, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You you can't really move the knight. Uh, um, if you move the knight, then uh, that's just a free knight. If you play something like this, uh, then you know basically that's that's just game over. They take the bishop, and then uh, basically you have to block with the queen, and then uh, this is simply just uh, unplayable. You, you you move outside. And, you know, this is this is checkmate. So, uh, you know, you have to block with the with the knight, and then you know this is this is checkmate. So yeah, so you can't really afford to p to play a stupid move, you know. So after after this, um, so that's you know the first variation we showed. Um, so uh, he he takes a, he takes bishop. I I took the knight. You know he won the uh, the rook here, and then he threatened to take uh, threatens to take the pawn. I of course knows this. I'm not gonna get checkmated. I defended the pawn. Uh, of course he, he took here, uh, and now he attacks bishop. But that that's uh, right now. You know this knight uh, you know comes in in use. This is why this knight is a very useful. Uh, this knight actually became a very useful defending piece um, because right now the um, the knight actually uh, nicely defends the bishop. You know, right now you cannot take. I just uh, attack the rook. The rook goes back and uh, rook goes here. Um, so um, you know, he's threatened to take the cannon, but, but then I, I threatened to take the knight, so basically we're just, uh, trading pieces, and right now, I'm up, up material, so trading is good for me, um, you know, this knight actually defend, and, you know, becomes a very va valuable defending pieces, um, you know, but you cannot you cannot really move to move your knight to to the attack right now. You have to use your rook to attack. So basically, he went uh, rook here. Uh, next move, he's gonna play something like uh, uh, like uh, rook to uh, rook to h1, and uh, no, not rook to h1, but rook to h9, and uh, you know, uh, doing some checkmating threats. So I first went. Now you have to calculate. You know, uh, now I went to I went for rook to a3. Uh, so if red actually persists with his, his idea, which he did in the real game, uh, in the actual game, 
he's gonna get checkmate first. So let's see what happens. So he persists with the idea, but right now I don't even care. Just rook the a1 check, and uh, in this position he resigned the game because there's nothing to do here. We can even show this. Your basically your only move is to to uh, to move the the general. If you move the general, just just uh, you know, um, just rook takes. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, if the the king goes up, the king has to go up the board. Then you know, rook checks here. The king has to go further up the board. And um, rook to here, you cannot go to go to the. Uh, um, you cannot go to D file because the, there's a rook on D file. You have to go uh, to F file, and then you know it's again black's move. Uh, black's gonna take the queen. This comes with the check, and then you know you're gonna just gonna take one of your rook, and uh, this is basically just unplayable. Um, so. Uh, there's there's really nothing for him to do here. It's very uh, you know with best play, uh, red is gonna get checkmated in some six or uh, in, in some seven or eight moves. So yeah, and here he just re resigned the game, and uh, because there's nothing to do here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the game. Uh, once again, uh, if you guys like my content, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It's it's gonna be a, a you know it's gonna be helping me a lot. I really need that subscription and and uh, hit the like button if you really like the video. Um, hit the notification button so next time I post video, you guys won't miss it. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.